Hello siblings and welcome back to my channel. So I'm moving in like 10 days from the time I'm filming this. It'll be like seven by the time I post it. Um, we've been working on packing my room all morning. I'm getting my subs installed on Saturday, so I'm waiting till then to put everything in my car. Probably like, what the heck? Like you're moving to New York, why are you taking your car? Um, please don't kill me or hate me, but I'm actually not moving to New York anymore. There's just a lot that has been going on. Things are pretty like crazy there. It's pretty stressful. It's a small little studio with two boys and I just like wasn't really feeling it and my life was pretty stressed. They wanted me to wait until the end of January. I'm ready to move out. Me and my dad talked and we were like, okay, just go to Utah because I was going to visit and see how things go. So then I went and I fell in love with Utah. It's so pretty. It's literally like, it's so fun. It's pretty. It's a great environment. It's like college lifestyle and I want to be able to experience that like young adult stuff I can't have fun all the time when I'm in New York because it's work 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 And I don't I'm not really in the work 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 kind of mood I'm kind of in like a fun like I want to be a little kid like or not little kid But like young adult type of mood they need a roommate in the house with all the siblings So I'm going to be that roommate and I'm moving to Utah on December 28th. So, surprise, I'm actually moving to Utah, not New York. But New York is not completely off the table. It could definitely still happen. The lease is up in April. I can move then, but I'm probably going to stay in Utah because I really liked it when I was there. And I want to just, like, have that experience. And then maybe New York in, like, a year or so. We'll see. But yeah, that's the plan. So, today, I've been packing. We're <clears> going <throat> to Bed Bath & Beyond to get a few things to help me with my move. Did you show them uh... Uh, yeah, I'm about to show them. So oh. that's what we're doing today. So as you guys know, maybe there was like a board right here that my bed was on. Took it down, so now my bed's just sadly on the floor. I'm sad because I don't have room to take my mattress and I love my mattress, but it's okay. I'm just gonna take my sheets and everything. Closet. Like literally, all I left out was like three, like two jackets and a dress to wear to church on Sunday and then like all my clothes are packed but I have so many shoes I don't even know how to pack them and then like everything I own is packed except for what I'm going to be wearing this week. I have a snowboard to go snowboarding and like literally like it's crunch time guys like we have 10 freaking days to get my life together so. Oh we should like say that whenever we're at Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay. The TikTok challenge. Hey guys follow me on TikTok because I've been posting a lot on there and I know you guys are gonna be like oh my gosh like how annoying you use TikTok <laughs> but it's actually so funny like once you get it's past fine. all the cringe ones it's literally fine I love it. Am I the only one who doesn't feel like it's Christmas like I don't know it's well, just it's just not. So we have a checklist I need to get a duvet cover matching baskets for my clothes a jewelry box. Yeah, that's actually pretty much it. <laughs> it's the moon. <laughs> we don't know the way. It's the moon. Marshmallows for toasting. Okay, update on my life. So I feel like for people who are new or whatever, I am 17 and I'm moving out. I graduated, okay? I didn't drop out of school. And um, yeah, I actually just graduated. Moving out in like 10 days. I turned 18 in February, so I only have like a few months of being like a young child living on her own. But I'm living with my siblings, so it'll be fun. You will see, hey, you will see playing tennis on the Wii. Pull up and Corolla. I really want some nice new pants, but they're really expensive. This is, this is what happens when you grow up. You're like, man, I could really use some pants. Like, look how cute they are. <laughs> like, it's $80, but... Full lifetime, full lifetime warranty, and they're really like sturdy and nice. Yeah, ultra durable, non-stick. Ten would recommend these pants. Uh, so I think I for sure found the sheets and stuff that I want. It's really pretty. I think it'd go really well with my um, personality. <laughs> <laughs> we love a Missouri girl. We love a Missouri girl. She popped. We are purchasing a jewelry box here for you next. It opens on both sides, she said, and then she said drawers. I've been needing this, like, my jewelry box is literally from Justice, and it has an S on it, and it's sparkly, so. She's classy. She's classy. And the lots of room. The so details. Excited. So excited. I'm getting four storage bins for my pants and underwear and stuff, and then a little heater. Wait, I'm so excited. <laughs> Look how cute. Just a little guy. Like 10 degrees and I'm not about that life. We found black sheets at Walmart because Walmart is better than everything else. Just saying. And we're getting, oh wait, I already said that. Yeah. 
complete. Got everything. It's a new day. Ignore the fact that I just got out of the shower. But I wanted to show you guys the things that I got and such. I don't know. This is my jewelry box with all my jewelry in it. It is so cute. Hello. Also, I don't know why this is in here. But, oh my goodness. So cute. Speaking of, I need to put my rings back on. I'm really like in love with this. I've already filled up like a large majority of it because I have so many bracelets. And yeah, I'm kind of like been needing this my entire life. So, welcome to my jewelry box tour. So then I put on my duvet cover on my comforter and I flopped so hard. So my bed is a queen, so I bought a queen set of like duvet covers and stuff. And then I realized that like my actual comforter is a twin because it's from my old bed, which means it was always just too small for this bed, but I just didn't notice because I'm a small human. So it was really old, so I just went ahead and bought a new comforter. It should get in today, but that was just the biggest flop because like it's so saggy and like there's so much extra like cloth without the comforter in it. I was like, only I would do that. Like, okay. Yesterday I went ice skating. It was my last like youth activity in my church until I move out and then I'm like a young adult. So enjoy these clips of us ice skating. How's it going, Marsh? 10 out of 10, would recommend breaking ankles. <laughs> I'm sweating. Go, Marsh, go! Why are you blocking? Just slide! This is my leader. Hey! What's up? Do some oh. tricks for us. streaks every day and I kind of want to block him. Comment down below if I should block him. <laughs> Watch my tomorrow, are you ready? Oh yeah. Woo! Him taking off his shoes. Don't know why. Wow. Here, I'll help you. Give me your blade. I'm gonna die. Well, that is literally all I have for today. My life is honestly so hectic right now, trying to get ready for Christmas and moving. So sorry, my videos have been a little bit short, and I know I like literally just like quit daily posting back to my regular schedule. I literally just have too much going on. Watching, if you want to follow me on my adventure to Utah, it's going to be way fun. Hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 300k. We literally only need like 3,000 more subscribers. That's insane to me. Oh my gosh. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.